Step Off the Road, a poem for Yellowstone by Andrew Talbert. I remember the first steps off the road into the tall, leafy emerald grass. This place is beautiful, I'm told. This place is wondrous, they said. I will never forget the vistas. But what is so captivating about giant hot tubs of rotten egg tainted sulfur that bubble in the blowing breeze? It's that inner beauty, they said. There's a world inside that turquoise liquid that shines like a lapis lazuli in the sun, I'm told. Something special sits in those pools. Could it be the geysers? Those scalding blowholes from the enormous whale sizes us right in this world that somehow keeps everything running? They are unique skyscrapers that not even the most imaginative engineers can create. It is the only time a sneeze can be beautiful. It is the only time the pearly white of steam seems alluring. The roar of the flamethrower-like chimney of water melds into a howl of the haunting and waking wolves running through the maze of trees. And the elk, who nonchalantly graze in that green grass from rise till set, a certain tranquility, serenity, floats in the air like a feather, gently into the clearest sapphire sky. I remember taking those first steps off the road into a different world. Ulysses legacy is the destination, no guides or porters to lead the way, only a sense of adventure and willingness to let go are requisite. The honey brown grasses, blue green sage, golden aspens, crisp nights and warm days all herald the arrival of fall. Meandering along windy roads, window down, bathing in the fragrance of pine, Big sky above and crystal mountain streams assail the senses, gone to the crowds of summer. Rather, fly fishermen, photographers, and seekers have arrived to this place called Yellowstone. On a very special day, a strenuous climb to isolated Trout Lake, otters diving upon the rustle of human sounds, creates an awareness of greatness beyond self. All the way down, the hiker sings, not just in celebration, but to let the bears know the uninvited is visiting their home. Sighting grizzlies and black bears awaken awareness of vulnerability. Graceful antelope pass within feet, choosing to rest nearby. Coyotes appear oblivious as they forage for their feast. The obituous bison transformed one thoughts to times when they were masters of the plains. Later, alone in a picnic area by a gurgling mountain stream, the mind is soothed and the world seems pure. One pauses in reflection and thanks President Grant for his foresight and gift to the world.